We, like, we, okay, guys, listen. How is any other fighting game dev going to compete with the online experience that Riot Games is going to, pro to provide with Project L? Uh, but can we talk about this? The way how they're working on uh, handling the issue of rage quitting? Like, the game's not only going to have rollback, but the way how it's going to work on their dedicated servers... In fact, I, I'll, I'll let the cannons explain this again. Consistent low input delay across a wide range of pings. We've also developed a new networking model that enhances the benefits of rollback with core technology developed by other games at Riot. We'll route network traffic between players through Riot Direct, our internal network already being used to minimize latency in League of Legends and Valorant. We're also actively managing a player's connection to their opponent to ensure a consistent, fair play experience. If their connection is laggy or drops packets, their experience will suffer, but yours won't. And if someone rage quits in the middle of a match, our netcode will determine who should win and who should be penalized. We're taking netplay very seriously for Project L. It's the primary way that we play test the game internally, and we're working every day to make sure it's in top shape for the eventual release. We, like, we, okay, guys, Listen, we know why more fighting game devs can't do that just because of like the sheer, the sheer reach and resources that Riot has. That's the sole reason why they're able to improve the online experience for their user base as well as they are able to do here. But guys, guys, how is any other fighting game dev going to compete with the online experience that Riot Games is going to provide? To provide with project l like rollback netcode we we already know it's it's a godsend just in terms of like how it handles online connectivity between two two players of varying different internet strengths but the server technology underlying this game is something that really no other fighting game dev really has like the resources and ability to to do on their own and a part of me is wondering, like, knowing how well that Riot's online uh, infrastructure is for their games, like, yeah, we will probably have, like, lands and, and stuff, but um, I don't think that Project L will have locals in the traditional sense of the, in the traditional sense of the word. I feel like for quite a while, like, Project L will probably have, like, a place at, like, a decent chunk of Riot-sponsored League of Legends events, just to kind of, like, help get it out there the fact that fighting games are now getting like better and better uh net code that the online experience is just getting much and much more improved as the years go on as more people as more developers are accepting a rollback and that the technology just gets better for like ha for like handling these games y one one has to wonder will we eventually get to like a point where like the online is so good that people won't feel compelled to actually like leave their homes and like go to like physical in-person events the appeal of having offline events is the spectator appeal to ha to have the those crowds and the energy of getting hype over an event is part of the reason why going to sporting events is so appealing it's the reason why we have like giant stadiums filled with like the thousands to like to watch football and baseball and every other sport imaginable but for esports it's really it's not always the case like you'll look at like brands who like spend like exorbitant amounts of money on esports stadiums but the incentive for people to really go to the stadiums outside of just watching them at home when stream production has already gotten as good as it is uh, the appeal of going to a stadium to watch an eSport or a competitive video game is just the appeals just not it the appeals the appeals just not there it's just one of those areas where eSports and regular sports just don't align I wouldn't be surprised if if the project L community ends up slowly branching off into being a separate part of the FGC. Like, I think about it almost in terms of, like, how there's, like, a bit of a schism between, like, the FGC and Smash. Like, there might be, like, a, like, like a Riot FGC in, in given time. Just, just a segment that they will compete, and they will compete online, but you often won't, won't see them in person. Some fighting game players might, 
might host the game at like locals and and stuff but who knows if dedicated project l players will even go out for those events like if the competition is good enough online that you could reasonably compete for money then um there might not be a reason for for project l locals to even exist i am happy that online competition is slowly becoming more and more credible more and more reliable because there are there are a ton of appeals to online competition if you don't know anything about where your local scene is if you don't know people nearby who can play and compete with you then having online tournaments is such a powerful thing because then you can compete with literally the entirety of the world as long as your connection is good enough you don't have to like search very hard to find people to compete with because the whole world is your oyster and you have access to the literal entire player base available to you if project l comes out whenever that new standard comes out hopefully it'll it'll have like a dual console and pc release if it's pc only then that is a def that is a definite rip for for locals i doubt that will be the case but if project l ends up being pc only then uh expect the schism Ex expect the schism pc only tournaments are manageable for like esports centers but for like smaller grassroots communities like the real like the really small people who are not guaranteed to have like an esports venue with like lines of like pcs and consoles or whatnot that's what that's what i'm concerned about i'm not concerned about like about like the locals that are like a little bit more that have like a little bit more resources to them i'm i'm talking about like the smaller smaller local scenes that are like just starting out with like people like th with the attendees bringing like their own consoles and monitors and stuff for esports centers they will definitely be able to accommodate that the landscape of locals is definitely going to be changing so if you guys want to know anything else about where you can find events and what you can do to prepare for this i have a whole video talking about that right here so be sure to watch it as well thanks for watching